All right, guys. Good morning. Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. Sitting in my hacienda, having a good cup of coffee this morning. And uh, just to let you know, I'm a little bit fired up. And if you haven't heard by now, there's this little thing called HR 7115 brought to the table by Mr. Frank Pallone of New Jersey. Kind of interesting about this guy. We're going to read about him later on because I want to cover some other aspects of the bill than just what it says verbatim. But let's read it real quickly. To prohibit the sale acquisition, distribution in commerce, or import into the United States of certain firearm receiver castings or blanks, assault weapons parts kits, and machine guns parts kits, and the marketing or advertising of such castings or blanks and kits of any medium of electronic communications to require homemade firearms to have serial numbers and for other purposes. Let's just say tramp all over our rights on so many different levels is disgusting and being so vague about it it just boggles the mind now let's take a look at this prohibit the sale acquisition distribution in commerce or import into the United States of certain firearm receiver castings or blanks and obviously they're talking about either 80 percent lowers uh, for pistols or ARs uh, we know about that Okay, that they've been going after that for a while. So I, I would suggest not freaking out right now, but get your uh, act together as far as what you want to put in the safe for later keepings. And, and again, one of the things that just uh, this bill is so ill written by so many different individuals who are ignorant of actual firearm laws that it's just comical. The next part, assault weapons parts kits. Okay, so to prohibit the sale, acquisition, distribution in commerce or import into the United States of certain firearm assault weapons parts kits. So you have to stop that one section and move on to the next one. So, <clears throat> so what do they mean? Are they talking about this right here? A trigger set? Are they talking about this guy right here? This is a uh, brace. The new brace, this is the new rib brace by CMMG, which is getting ready to become a part of a new Moar 15 pistol. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to do that, did you? Or are they talking about this guy right here? This is a lower receiver, which is, by the way, serialized. And that's one of the things that I'm, I'm met, met by. So when you say assault weapons part, what they have done in the previous bills is they have defined what an assault weapon is. So anything that pertains or could be built onto an assault weapon. Are they talking about also, are they talking, let me get your ass in there. Are they talking about an upper, complete upper receiver? Check that out, man. Watch this. That actually I had a lot of fun with that yesterday and it's kind of gotten me more interested into uh, doing the laser thing. So uh, anyway, this is what I'm talking about. Are they talking about these parts? And when we're talking about parts pieces, parts kits, uh, here it says right here in section five definitions under subparagraph, the term assault weapons part kit means any part or combination of parts designed and intended to enable a consumer who possesses all such necessary parts to assemble a semi-automatic assault weapon. So yeah, this is a part. This is a partially assembled part. The trigger assembly are parts. So what they're trying to do and what they are intending to do is to rid you of the ability to, well, enjoy a hobby like I do. This is gonna have a huge impact. They, they've left it so far open that there's, I just don't understand how something like this could be introduced into as a bill, moved up through the Senate, which it would have to be done, and then imported up to the president for uh, his signature. It, it's interesting to see how this is going to play out. I don't believe this is going to become a law. I don't see how it could be in its current status right now because for me to go out and buy what the ATF has specified as a firearm is this guy right here because it does have a serial number on it. The rest of the parts and pieces are merely accessories. They don't do anything. So I don't see where it is that they can outlaw these things. Besides, talk about a billion dollar industry.
that they would be trying to shut down. Literally, brown owls, cheaper than dirt, my beloved Palmetto State Armory folks. All these companies would be impacted by that one statement, assault weapon parts kit. All right, so another portion of this really interesting is this. And the marketing or advertising of such castings or blanks and kits on any medium of electronic communications. What are they talking about? The, the parts kits? So they're saying that you can't have a website advertising the sale of uh, a trigger group or an upper receiver? So this putting this online would be illegal. Can you imagine? Just take a minute to realize what the actual impact would be on all these businesses. If and where this opens up, it it, it opens itself up to some tremendous uh, liability on the government's part because they are shutting down communications on a large scale. So pew pew tactical. I mean, he does reviews. Is this? impact us on YouTube. I know I'm reaching for a bunch of things, but these are things that we need to consider. So this is all more than just getting rid of a part kit or a part. This is communication as well. To require homemade firearms to have serial numbers and for other purposes. What is the and for other purposes? We already know that they've been hunting to try to get the serial numbers on these things. But what is the and for other purposes? purposes mean? These are things that I want to take into mind. Evidently, the bill as it's written right now is absolute BS. Let's talk about the guy who authored this thing, Mr. Frank Pallone. And this is the interesting part that I find. <clears throat> Mr. Frank Pallone, uh, let's see, the state of New Jersey, House, he, uh, the 103rd district, he's actually uh, District uh, 6 in New Jersey. Let's look at his history. Now, this is the interesting part that I find about Mr. Frank Pallone. And an interesting thing that I find about the majority of the people who have been involved in politics their entire life have never held an actual, real, private sector job. Now, I can't confirm 100,000% that he's never held a private sector job, but in looking at his profile, it's pretty much sure he went straight for college into politics. He has uh, graduated with a law degree. And, uh, well, from 1984, he ran for the state, state Congress, was elected in 1984, and is still currently in politics. So you got to think about it. The politicians these days, they're not working for the people. They're working for themselves because that's their job. They have a paycheck from it. And it's, that's all they do. They have a paycheck, they have a job, and they throw bills against the wall to see what sticks in the guise of actually trying to protect individuals. We've got ourselves a little bit of work. We need to contact our representatives, Democrat or not. I'm screwed because my uh, representative, uh, she just thinks she knows more than anybody, and we're just dumb rednecks. Oh, you know, we need to protect society. Protecting society. Lady, I had to... I had to fill out paperwork in order to buy this. I don't feel like I need to fill out paperwork in order to buy a damn buttstock or a pistol brace. So with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to give a different take on this whole 7115. It's a dangerous bill. It is a very dangerous bill. And we need to contact our local, state, and federal representatives to fight against ridiculous, ridiculous laws or bills or attempt to create a bill that goes against our freedoms, period. So anyway, guys, that's it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. This is absolutely ridiculous. This, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a serialized part of a firearm. The rest of it are just pieces of metal. Because without this, you can't make the rest of it work. And if this guy, Frank, knew what the hell he was talking about, he would know better. So that's it. I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. There it is.